We're going to try to achieve approximately a thousand dollars a month in rent while staying under seventy thousand dollars all in. Bob and Erica, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And what I am doing today, I'm back at it, back in the saddle again, working with Bob and Erica. You folks are, uh, you know, seasoned real estate investors. You have properties all around uh, the United States of America. We're looking to expand your portfolio. We're going to get a nice footprint for you guys in the Cleveland market. Now, we worked on uh, some previous deals. We were checking out Maple Heights and... Uh, Neither of those deals ended up going through. Uh, just a little bit of nonsense from one of the sellers. The other deal didn't pan out either. Uh, and through that experience, uh, you guys had determined, uh, you guys kind of narrowed the focus down a little bit, which is great. That's what I like. That's why I love doing these 10 property videos, right? We kind of start with one and then, you know, we kind of work on that. And then after we do that first one, you know, we kind of narrow things down, realize what uh, you guys are interested in, what you kind of want to avoid. And uh, we've narrowed things down a little bit and we decided, you know what, let's, uh, let's get out of dealing with municipalities that have the point of sale process. We don't want to deal with that. And for everybody else watching Bob and Erica's video right now in the show notes below, I want you to click the link to the video that explains the point of sale process. Very common and a lot of the, the suburbs here in the Cleveland market. So check that out if you're curious to know what that is. But Bob and Erica, you guys are like, dude, screw the POS. Let's, let's, let's try to get something else. Let's try to get that thousand dollars or so in rent. Let's stay all in for under 70 K so we can get reasonably safe neighborhoods here. And uh, you know, let's, let's, let's see what we could do. So what I got for you, first property, 16225 Collin Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44128. This bad boy listed a couple weeks ago by a Century 21 agent for $59,000. Now, this one is located in an east side neighborhood of Cleveland, and this is probably one of the few neighborhoods in Cleveland itself uh, that is not like an F-class neighborhood, not extremely high risk. This is a nice uh, you know, C-ish type neighborhood over there. I like it. Pretty safe. If you check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, you'll see that the majority of the east side Cleveland proper neighborhoods are very, very, very high risk, okay? I'm not talking about greater Cleveland, guys. I'm not talking about the suburbs. There's a ton of suburbs on the east side of Cleveland that are very low risk. I'm talking about the actual city of Cleveland itself. The majority of the neighborhoods on the east side are highly risky, but this one, this is a nice little pocket Uh of just stable areas, right? And you guys are, another thing you guys are trying to do, you're trying not to do a lot of renovations. You wanted something that's uh, pretty close to turnkey. And this just fits the bill, man. As you can see, it's, it's just set up for a nice rental property. We got neutral colors throughout. We got fresh carpet in there, uh, fre fresh, you know, vinyl flooring in the kitchen and the bath, updated fixtures going in the basement, dude. Look at this clean basement, man. That furnace, that's a pretty damn new furnace. Same with that hot water tank. Looks like we got nice, uh, fresh paint down there in the, in the basement, everything all nice and clean. This is just a solid little earner. So when you guys told me you're looking to stay in that around a hundred, uh, I'm sorry, around a thousand dollars a month range, didn't want to do a lot of rehab, want some stability in the neighborhood. This one, I was like, dude, this is perfect. I still think it makes the most sense to go with the Section 8 route. We go the Section 8 route on this, I think we should hit approximately $1,000 a month in rent or $12,000 a year. Now, the Section 8 process, it, it, it can be kind of complicated um, as far as like how it works and dealing with the, the housing authorities, dealing with Section 8 and all that jazz. Uh, you guys need to go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com to check out how Holton Wise actually works with the Section 8 program. It's, it's a lot of bureaucracy. It's a lot of red flags. It's a lot of BS, right? You, you go ahead and you ask five employees working there the same question. You're going to get five answers. Uh, we're one of the few property managers that works with Section 8. 
uh, for our clients. The majority of them do not. And it's not because the tenants are higher risk. It's just because the, the red tape, the bureaucracy, it adds a ton of work uh, to us as a property manager. But, uh, you know, that's the niche that we're in. You know, myself, my personal portfolio, the majority of it is Section 8. I think that's the best way to earn stability uh, at these rental properties. You know, my number one thing, right, I want that rent coming in so that, that government guaranteed rent is the most important thing to me. And you, you typically seem to get a little higher uh, rent price. Uh, for your properties than on the cash paying market. Now, with that said, every single time they, they give you an offer on a property, they, uh, they give you an individual offer. So it might not be a thousand, uh, it might be a little less, might be a little more. And you know, the weird thing is like, we could take the same property in the same condition like five years from now, and the price might be different. Uh, every time they go out and inspect it to make a rental offer, you get their offer, but uh, you know, it's, it's a, if it, you guys are seasoned investors, you've worked uh, uh, with programs like this before. You kind of know what I'm talking about. It's, it, if you're looking for a rhyme or reason why it's not organized over there, I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to get it from me. I mean, the people that work there don't understand it. And we try to explain all that to you guys in our facts, showing you that we're going to deal with some bumps in the roads dealing with these folks. Again, that's why most property managers don't even deal with it. So know that, you know, it could be a little goofy at times, but in the grand scheme of things, this is the way to do it. Now, as far as price, they got it listed at 59. I think that's a solid price, uh, but you guys are cash payers, right? So I think we can come in. We got to come pretty close to that, but I think we could probably pick it up at 55K. And we don't really need to do anything to it. Yes, when we do due diligence, we're going to want to get it inspected by your own private inspector, number one. Number two, before we actually do place that tenant in there, Holton Wise, we're going to send our team out to do the safety tune-up and inspection, make sure it meets our minimum standard. Section 8 is also going to inspect it as well. So there may be a little bit of costs associated with it, but I don't know what those would be at the moment. And I'm not talking like major rehab things. I'm talking like minute things, guys, like uh, perhaps we don't have the exact amount of smoke detectors we need in them, or perhaps some of the batteries in the smoke detectors are, are not working or they're missing, things of that nature, right? Just small little minute stuff to get it ready. So more or less zero dollars in rental, but you might have to, to, to spend a little bit just to meet the minimum standards. We do all that as far as performance. I anticipate bringing in approximately a G. I anticipate spending approximately 55% of that, right? 541 is what I anticipate we will spend operating this. And that's going to include that's going to include things that we're not necessarily spending right now, but saving up for, like our capital expenditures, right? You saw that beautiful new furnace, right? That's awesome, but that doesn't mean that furnace is going to last forever, right? It's about $3,000 to replace that furnace, and it needs to be replaced approximately every 30 years. So we're going to account for that. We're going to stow away $50 a month. You're not going to consider that part of your return, even though it's going into your pocket, because eventually that $3,000 bill is coming your way. That hot water tank, that's a $1,000 bill. You're going to get that in about 15 years. The roof, you know, that's probably like a four, maybe $4,500 roof, if I had to guess, 30 years on that. So even though a lot of these things are newer right now, we're going to account for them. We're going to calculate them. We're not going to consider them part of our return. You know, other things, uh, you know, water sewer bills, you got to pay for that. More information on why is in the fact. Go to HoltonWise.com, fact, check that out. Uh, just a slew of information for you guys. Uh, you definitely, everybody out there who's watching us, you want to check out our fact. We try to provide you guys with the most transparent look into the property management business, look into working with us. And that fact it includes answers in both type and video tutorials whenever possible. We really want to just set you guys up to knowing exactly what to expect when you're working with us, right? So that's why you could, um, uh, you know, that's why you want to go there is what I'm trying to say, right? That's why you want to go there. Uh, you know, we do what we say we're going to do and we show you beforehand how it's all going to play out. We can't control how your tenants behave, but what we can control is how we react to it. And we try to put that out there for you, tell you exactly what you're going to charge, et cetera. Other costs, you know, your taxes, insurance, by the way, show notes below. If you want a quote on any of your properties nationwide, click that. We own uh, an insurance company. We are licensed coast to coast. We are appointed with several different insurance providers. So we're able to provide landlords with some of the cheapest insurance policies possible. So with all that said though, right? Typical performance, thousand comes in, 541 goes out. And also we're accounting for when that thousand doesn't come in. We're accounting for vacancy and non-payment of rent, et cetera. So that should leave you guys with an NOI of 459. 
That makes this property a 10 cap. And I know you guys are paying cash, but if you were to finance this, if you wanted to finance this, you could. You'd only need to put down 13750 which would make this a 25% return on your investment should you choose the financing route. If not, again, just a nice solid 10 cap if you go with the cash route. That's why I think this property is going to be perfect for you guys based upon the new criteria you gave me. We got stability out of the neighborhood. We're hitting your rent metric. We're hitting your price metric. And we are not dealing with a ton of renovations. And we're not dealing with that pesky POS. So all in all, I thought this one checked all of your boxes. I thought this would be perfect for you. Now I got another property for you guys. That's property number two. Let's go to a quick word from the sponsors of today's show before we get into it. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, Bob and Erica, now the next property. We're going to go to the other side of town now. We're going to go over to the west side, 4472 West 167th Cleveland, 44135. This thing has been listed a long time ago, 234 days on the market, listed by Market First Real Estate. This is why you should never, ever, ever overprice your properties, guys. You overprice your property because you think you're going to get more money. Don't work that way. Go with the best possible price. You'll always close at the highest price if you go with your best price. You don't want to overprice it. But hey, we're not worried about selling properties right now. We're worried about buying properties. Now, this property, similar to the other one. I, I like the Section 8 plan. I think that's good. Another solid neighborhood. This is a solid C to B class neighborhood in Cleveland. These are some of the better neighborhoods in Cleveland. So you can go with the cash paying tenant route if you really want it. But I do like the stability and the high rents of the Section 8 program. We should be bringing in approximately 1000 bucks a month out of this. Now, this is listed higher. This is listed at 64.9. I want to see you guys pick this up for 55. And the reason... I think we need to get that nice little discount is because we've got to do a little bit of work, right? You guys said you didn't want to do a lot of work. I get it. They're not always going to be these properties on the market. They're just like ready to rock with the tenant. This is close though, right? I mean, it's, it's a nice little house, but we got to do some cosmetics, right? I don't, I don't know what's going on in this room here, but like, you know, we got like mountains or something like that. Uh, you know, it's probably a kid's room or whatever, but you know, we got to get rid of that. Um, other than that, everything like looks pretty decent from the photos. Uh, but you know, the photos, it's, it's not like fresh, right? So the photos don't always tell the whole story. I think we might need to like do a little bit of it. And as far as the kitchen goes, I'd like to see just like a little bit of upgrades. Like it doesn't like extremely impress me. I mean, we could get away with spending less than 10K. We absolutely could. We could definitely get away with spending less than 10K, but I think you go with some premium upgrades uh, just to like make that kitchen a little bit nicer uh, than it currently is. I, I think we'll do better getting better tenants, uh, getting tenants in there quicker, getting tenants to stay longer. And you know, you take these tiles that they got in that kitchen, you don't see any in the, uh, in the pictures here, but oftentimes when we actually physically get inside these properties, I usually see 
you know, some of these ceramic tiles are cracked, right? You can't tell in this picture. Maybe they didn't hit the exact tile, but it, it, it's very rare we get into these where we don't see some cracking. So I just wanted to put that in there as like a buffer, analyze this for you with that buffer in there to show you what the numbers are going to look like should we need to spend up to that 10 Gs, right? I like to overpromise or underpromise over deliver rather, right? Underpromise over deliver. As far as the numbers, they're going to be similar to the previous property, right? 1,000 or so is coming in. I anticipate spending 567 on average, leaving us with an NOI of 433. Now, all in, you'd be all into this at 65K. That would be an eight cap. Now, here's the cool thing. If you wanted to finance this or anything of that nature, you have a couple different routes to go. Uh, you could, you don't need to buy this cash. I mean, I know you guys are cash payers, but you, you could do this a couple different ways. You could go in and you could just buy it with a mortgage if you're not dealing with a ton of cash on hand. I know you guys are. I'm just showing you and other investors out there different strategies, right? If you don't have a ton of cash on hand, what you can do, you can buy this financing it up front, right? You're going you're gonna to buy it for 55K. That's our target, right? And then you would need to put down $13,750 as your down payment. Then if we have to spend up to 10K, you would need to pay that 10K in cash for those renovations, those upgrades. That's one way to do it. Another way you could do it is you don't use the loan right away. Just pick it up cash and then finance or do your renovations in cash as well. And then go ahead and just do your refinance. I'm not even saying like we go with a burr and we like force appreciation because I think the property is like fairly decent right now. And just doing some minor improvements to make it look better on the on the rental market, you're not going to increase the value necessarily. So let's just assume you bought at 55k cash, you put your 10k to make it a little bit better, and let's assume the value is going to be what you have into it, 65k. If you do it that route, you're going to end up with a little bit less money in the deal. You'd only need 16,250 in that deal because in that scenario, the bank could give you 75% of the value, which is 48,750. So essentially you got to finance your renovations. So instead of having like a total of like 23, 24K into it, when you bought it with your loan up front, then you paid 10K cash for the rentals. You could just pay everything cash and then pull the money back out later. You, you get to keep a little bit less money in the deal. You do it that way, your cash on cash return is higher because you have less cash in there. You'd end up with a 16.8% cash on cash return. But anyway, you slice it, just a pure cash purchase, buying it with a loan up front, buying it cash and then pulling the money out after the reno so you could finance the reno any way you slice it it's a solid deal it checks all your boxes just like the previous property right this is just going to be a you know a low-key low-risk consistent earner for you guys you know you guys are seasoned investors you know what it's about you've just been adding notches to the belt with properties like this in, in many states so Nothing incredibly sexy or, or uh, advantageous or, you know, nothing incredibly sexy or risky uh, or crazy like value increases uh, here. Just solid, low risk, little cash flow cows that are just going to keep chugging along for you guys. So that's uh, kind of what you guys uh, started directing me to. And of course, no POS on this property either. So I, I think both of these should work for you. And with this one, I know our offer is going to be a lot lower than the list price. But as I mentioned at the top, this property has been on the market for 234 days. I mean, at some point, you know, if they're ever going to take a lower offer, now is the time to try to strike. So let me know what you guys want to do, Bob and Erica. Everybody else, if you've enjoyed this show and you'd like to start building your real estate portfolio in the same way by working with my team one-on-one, -on -one, I want you to go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab. Click on the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Order yourself a package and start working with my team today. That's all I've got for you guys. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee 
as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.